You know, it doesn't really matter whether you're an aviation buff or not, you have to visit the Haas Museum here in the Illawarra. Absolutely magical experience. History surrounding you. It's all hands-on. It's going to be one of the greatest experiences you've had when it comes to something of this nature. Magnificent. This would have to be the most impressive collection of aviation history and memorabilia in Australia, if not the world. outside of that. Yeah, well there's very few museums do what we do yep. that not only fly, but have them all static as well. Yeah. And uh, as well as that, let people come and watch while we're working on them. That's an impressive thing, because that doesn't happen anywhere, does it? No, and then people can sit in most of our aircraft as yep. well, like people can sit in the Sabre jet, yep. they can sit in the 747, they can sit in the Connie, they can climb through Neptune, so we're pretty um, uh, free with that and we're pretty unique. So many changes. I've, I've visited here probably half a dozen times over the last 20 odd, odd years, and every time I come back, it's just gone to another level. Yeah. Is that something you guys are pr obviously proud of, but something you really aim to, to do? Well, it becomes uh, self-perpetuating. <laughs> and uh, you know, we started off with one Neptune, yeah. my uh, secretary's husband and I, and then we grew a second one. Yeah. And then we needed spare parts, went to America, looking for spare parts. What do we find next? A derelict Super Connie in a boneyard. <laughs> We've got to have one of those. Yeah. It's the only one flying in the world now. Oh, wow. And it's not, you know, it's not just about being an aviation buff either. You could, like history buff, but if you come here, I think probably anyone across the board would be impressed with yeah. just the visual aspect of what you see. Yeah, so many people can't believe when they get here to yeah. see what we've got. A lot of great workers here, obviously a lot of volunteers and all with a bit of a, you know, a history in the aviation sector themselves. Oh, absolutely. And of course, so many events. Wing, wings over Wollongong, or is it, what is it actually called? Wings over Illawarra. Illawarra. But also, you know, you've got your, your days where anyone can come here and there's, there's action happening on the tarmac. Always some sort of event happening. You come down here, you could spend half a day easy, couldn't you? You got the cafe as well, so you can yeah. cruise around for a while, talk to the volunteers, get a bit of an idea of what's going on, check things out, have something to eat, and then maybe yeah. get a bit more into you. Yeah, well, that's uh, what we find is that um, information overload is yeah. more frequently the situation <laughs> that so many of our guides have um, uh, so much excitement about what they're showcasing yeah. that they uh, don't know when to say, uh, that's it, folks, go home. Great job, keep it up. I know you've been here for a long time now and I don't think you're going to get sick of it real soon, are you? No, no this is our uh, home and uh, from when I was a little boy, yeah. uh, the lust for aviation uh, hasn't uh, diminished and it's, it's got tough. worse. No. <laughs> Live the dream, brother. Live, Live the, the dream. dream. Yep. Aborted engine start. Yeah. Hey, good afternoon, folks. This is your captain speaking. Welcome aboard. We're going to be cruising to an altitude of about 38,000 feet today. Might be a little bit bumpy on the way up, but I'd like you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the hospitality of our fantastic crew. Enjoy the flight. All right, who's got the keys? Seriously. Mm -hmm. 